Alright guys, what we are playing right now is a game called Wildermyth. It is a kind of like a procedural, procedurally generated story game. The story itself is has a bunch of random events and everything that happens. It's a uh, it's an indie game. I don't know how long it's been on Steam. I only recently discovered it, and I played one of the stories, and I just kind of really loved the way the game was, the way the generation is and everything. Now, we're going to randomize, go ahead and reroll all these characters. Uh, do it three more times. Nah. Alright, three more times again. One, two, three. Alright, this work. Uh, so here we have who's going to be our warrior, a dude named Kipley. Quail is going to be our hunter. And then Janley is going to be our mystic. Alright, start on Calamity Zero. Alright. Alright, what danger demands? Bear Badger woke to the red song of chaos, voices bent by fear and rage. Panic, pain, flames. Is this a. Is this all real? Who would attack a peaceful village? That thing. The bone creature scuttles and rips down burning beams, intent on destruction, dragging fire wherever it creeps. Go on and grab your weapon, Kipley. This is the day we show our metal. Don't you feel it? This is the day we're really born. My weapon? Alright. Kinda. Let's see. I'll have him grab the pickaxe. Since he's gonna be the warrior, let's get him up and close. I mean, the pitchfork work too, it has more range. Firing pan is just. <laughs> Here's the obvious pick. Oh, I just realized that was a pun. Alright. Just a moment, I'll set up a board for you. It's a turn-based combat, and the way it, it is, I personally really enjoy it. Alright, so there we found one of them. Have her weight, so she's the hunter. She don't have a bow at the moment. Alright, let's move Kippy up here. Move, once it moves into the yellow, that's, that's all his actions. Wait. Why does she have the bow when she's supposed to be the mystic? Was she not? No, she's the mystic. Oh well. Let's get the spectic to move in on us. Uh, let's grab him. Throw him here. Let the thing come to us. Move her over here. Go ahead and shoot him. Alright. Uh, well, I guess no one's missed at the moment because none of them ha actually have achieved their roles just yet. Alright. That's it for that monster. Victory. Now they y'all get their XP. You know, they leveled up to their actual adventure role just yet. Or they went ahead and did it anyways. Alright, Kippy has grown stronger. He's a warrior, so be better with combat than not. Alright, I'll do Paladin for him first. So if he moves, ends his turn on a move, he'll automatically enter. Guardian, which is a thing where it sets up a little range around the character, and if an enemy moves into that range, he attacks it. It's a very nice skill. Alright, so now she is our hunter now. Alright. I'll do crippling strikes. Uh, Quill's attack supply to hobble to the enemy, and now we got our mystic. Why is it that she's the only one who had an actual weapon in that whole little fight? She must have been an actual hunter before then, or she just found it. 
All right, Jelly Musk is now a Green Horn Mystic, Humanist, uh, Compulsion, Earth Scribe. Scarf of Faith. More Scarf of Twisted Fibers has 0.7 health. Alright, let's uh, give it to our warrior since he's going to be the brunt, taking the brunt of the attacks at first. Battle ends. They did what danger demanded. Jenny, Kipley, and Quill are left standing. The fires don't swallow the town. They're fought down to cinders and buried. The folks of Fair Badger will have a trying time, salvaging whole ruined lanes, squeezing people under crowded roofs. They'll manage much better than they expect, though. Kipley and I agree. We're not going, going to let that be it. I mean, I'm not anyone's idea of a hero, I know, but I maybe want to keep using the skills that I just sort of noticed I've got. Everything seems a lot more tenuous than it did yesterday. Yeah. The Morthogi that attacked their homes had mostly moved on by the time any defense was roused. It means they can easily return them or others, perhaps more, and fiercer, and with a deadlier will. Let's go be who we have to be, right? And I about messed up on that sentence. Every company of heroes is called by at least one name, a name spoken or spelled in tradition and handed along ever after. These heroes will be known as the Kinship of the Thirsty Bear, Winari's Horn, the Darlings of Drunken Song. Or enter your own name. I don't ever like entering my own name because I'm not good with coming up with names at all. I like Kinship of the Thirsty Bear the best. So we're going to go with that one. These are the stories of the Kinship of the Thirsty Bear. Be remembered. Alright, locate Hollis down. Clear four more hostile sites. Alright. So that's Hollis down. Uh, there's a recruit opportunity. Let's go ahead and uh, recruit another person, I guess. New recruit, Eric. He's a hot-headed romantic. All right. Are we really looking for fighters, or did you just want an excuse to hit the tavern? Come on, you, you don't like the idea of an, un an underling? Plus, I'd like some extra help starting conversations when you and Kippy are doing that awkward silence thing. The stars were beginning to come out by the time they got back into Fair Badger proper. Good thing we got in when we did. Looks like most people are still out and about. Maybe we can knock out this errand sooner rather than later. Wait, you're back already? You wiped them out that quickly, or... You didn't give up, did you? What do you take us for? Good. That would have been distressing the news. Actually, we're back because we're looking to expand the company. What about you? You look valiant. And you could probably fight with that thing in a pinch, right? Probably. Defeating a more thoggy menace or two would certainly get the butcher's daughter's attention. And there's not a lot else keeping me here right now. It's the season when a young man has to figure out what to make of his life. And this season has brought a lot of changes. Can't argue with you there. It would be good to have the help. We've learned a bit out in the wild so far. We can have someone get you up to speed. Now, I don't know what I want him to be though. Maybe I should have him be another warrior. Just uh, get that more of a tanky type person in the battles. Alright, now we need to prepare him real quick. Alright. Sweet. Alright, backslam, uh, wolf call, after it's just Eric Salah's game, plus two speed for this in the following turn. Let's get him wolf call, increase speed after he gets a kill. Alright, now let's go scout out this area. I could, I could split them up and have them scout different areas at once, but to me that's uh Alright, routine models has been revealed. Now you usually get a little story type thing every time you engage a hot go to 
clear a hostile area like uh, like this. Get one of these. All right, Splinter by Douglas Austin. Oh, hey, I got a splinter. You say you got a splinter? I said I got a splinter. You got a splinter? Yeah, please. Everyone should hear this. I got what looks like a... And of course I did. I, I, I got a mean splinter, see? Sliding past the nail. There's a trick to splinters and I happen to be the best at it. Yep, this is exactly who we are. Wow, that's some splinter. The more I look at it, the deeper in it, in it seems to wriggle. Oh, whatever, I'll get it out later or here, trust me. This won't hurt a bit. It won't, ow. Whoops, but here it comes, painless and easy. I, I don't know how to make that sound, so I'm not going to attempt. Enough. I got it. Eric holds a long, wet wood filament up to the light. Alright, that's no joke. Eric slips it into a corded pouch, places it in Janley's hands. Here, and remember who got it out of you. And with that, they carry on to Vorkwin's Spire. Now we got three enemies in this round. So uh, move her here behind cover. We'll move Janley right here. Uh, move Kipley here. Have Kipley open the door and do Guardian. Have Eric run inside and do Guardian. I guess he activated Guardian. He should have. That's what his skill is. Here. There we go. So there's no enemy in here. I'm gonna run back out. Kipley. The door. And where are all the freaking enemies at? I recorded an hour of Diablo 2 to make a video on it, but then I realized it. The out oh my lord! There, the output setting for it was. Uh, oh no no no! I don't want to do that with him. I don't remember how to go back. Oh well. Let's have her move here. Interfuse with that bookshelf. And then I can use this. Kill him. But uh, I recorded an hour of it and then I realized my stuff was set up to uh, the output format. But it's in a format not uh, not supported by my editing software, so that came became out of the question, and now I'll have to re-record it another day because don't feel like playing it at the moment. <laughs> All right, shoot him! He's dead. Now, your characters in this game can die. They can die and they can also uh, receive permanent damage. Like, uh, they can get their arms cut off and whatnot. Now, this ain't a gory game, so it ain't gonna show it like that. It'll give them a little nub. 
This guy's already using the mace, so we'll give it to him. Bear Strength Sash, bonus damage, 0.7. Let's give that to Eric. Your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. Yes, after every fight, they have what's called Calamities. It's uh, cards that uh, get added to a deck of each, each kind of enemy, and it increases their strength, uh, makes them more dangerous, so to say. And right now, this chapter on this one does not have a time limit in this chapter so we can uh, spend as much time as we need claiming outpost and whatnot because once you clear a hostile site you can claim outpost or anything like that and uh, you can get more resources at the end of the chapter to upgrade weapons so you spend resources to upgrade hero weapons and armor uh, since there's no time limit we might as well have it take a little longer in the game so that there's a potential to find an item. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Warp and Spire has proven a reward. Not exactly the most gripping part of the story, though. Wolf head knee pad. Adds more health. Let's give this to her, just so that she has a bit more health, so that when she does get attacked. Alright, let's go scout this area out. I'm missing a, a croc. Alright. Salt Telegaron Earthworks, let's go. Here's a thought. Maybe Telegaron Earthworks isn't as dangerous as we believed. Creek. Crash. Huh? Where'd Kipley go? Down here. Ganley's step has broken the hidden covering of a hunting pit, and he's fallen, scuffing, and scraping into a dark, rocky hole. You survive okay, Kipley? How far down are you? Oh, far enough. If you're craving your own set of busted knees and bruised ribs, hop on down. We're close to where those things were spotted. If this is a trap, it might be risky to try and get him out. Well, this has a 74% chance, so let's take the risk. Give me a second, I'll jump down and help him. It doesn't take Janly long at all. She climbs nimbly down and helps Kipley back to the top. And not a moment too soon. Quill and Eric have fallen in love. How? How? They did nothing? If anything, Kipley should have fallen in love with Jamie, but okay. But what's pretty cool is, uh, at the end of the chapters, time will uh, progress, whatnot, and uh, your your characters in the game can have kids or whatever. It's a big enemy there. Okay, that was blocked. All right. Oh, nope, my guy stuck. And uh, when your your character's kid or the people's kids in the game uh, become of age, they'll join the uh, your company of heroes, and you can use them to fight as well. And they're just going after Eric. Eric finish it off. Kipley finish off that brusk. Huh? Uh, let's have her interfuse with that. These discus on here.
victory. Should start seeing them become a, uh, I think after Greenhorn, it's like Blue Horn or something. Shades deals thrust, dueling sword. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get that to him. That way he has a better weapon. His range is less, but. Bear Strength Sasha, another one of those. Let's give that one to Kipling. Your enemies improve their strength. Alright, Thrix will have more health now. Just go ahead and uh, do that. Storm Flint Belt Potency. I don't know what potency does in this game. Give it to her. I could probably figure out what potency is in this game pretty easily. We've been walking for hours. The light has faded to dusk. I think we're going in circles. I swear I've seen that tree before. I'm not sure I like this. Did you hear that? That was just you stepping on a twig. I guess that's what it was. Come on, let's go this way. Try to watch your step, twig stomper. Suddenly the path widened, widened spilling out into a large clearing, bathed in starlight. This music it calls me. We should join them. Join them? That sounds like a profoundly bad idea. They have no faces. We're gonna choose this, 62% chance of it succeeding. However, usually when things like this happen, if you succeed, something good usually happens, like the characters can go through a type of transformation and whatnot. Uh, but if something bad happens, they could just have some sort of like damage done to them or they'll start the fight off with less health, whatnot. As soon as Derek steps between the stones, music washes over him. Unlike anything he's ever heard before, and yet, it melody, its melody seems familiar. Were not these drums always beating in time with his heart? He tries to join the ethereal creatures in their dance, but his feet stumble. The music, it's fading. Oh, man. The specters, they've gone also. Wait a second, what just happened to him? Dejected Eric emerges from the stone circle. Eric, what happened to you? What the? How long was I gone for? Only a few minutes. There is music, but I'm so happy I didn't follow him into that circle. I feel like I have failed some trial. Come on, we should get out of here before anything else weird happens. Ever after, Eric would catch himself humming a tune that he could never quite remember the entirety of. Ah, so he's increased of age nine years. So he's 30 now? Why is his hair white if he's only 30? Well, he's older than his girl now. Alright, this is an infect infested area. I'll go do this one first. Wait, wait, and do this. Let's do hives and hardwoods. Man, he ain't, he, he ain't aging very well. <laughs> Alright. You can cancel some of these if you want. He's in legacy points. Uh, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I just I just let him get stronger. Make for a harder experience. Oh, gotta press scout. Oh yeah, should probably let them finish first. Now we'll send them off. This, this uh, is infested, that's infested, that's infested. When they get infested, they can uh, spread to these other tiles and infest them, destroy your outpost, whatnot. And uh, if you have parties of like two people or less, they can uh, get ambushed by enemies. Alright. See what story we what story we get this time. Russell, Russell. Skr. 
Maybe we're both a little too anxious, huh? Feeling pretty mortal, honestly. You? Yeah. Of course I'm tense. Moments before battle, I get all squeezed up and so I'll be fine. I just keep thinking they'll get around me. Somehow hit one of you. Huh. Do that one. You can count on us, Quill. Just worry about your own job in this. I'll try to. Alright. The game temporary stats. Ooh, water spirit. And it's blocked, of course. So I have Kipley uh, run after that spirit. Oh, that's Eric. Alright, we'll, we'll have Kipley attack this then. Nice one, Kipley. One shot, one kill. We'll have her move here. Interfuse that little barrel. Ooh. Not good. Oh, that thing just ain't gonna be able to catch up that thing. Have her run here. Of course. How did it take cover behind that wall? See if I can get him to catch up to it. He'll uh, he'll enchant his blade, but I don't think I'm gonna catch up to it. I ain't killed the uh, the man of the squad so far. Interfuse with. Stone Barrage, alright. Uh, at least she hit it this time. Let me catch up to it. Oh, that thing's out of sight now. I think I'm gonna get it this time. Did it swap their skills? The guardian with him. Interfuse that. A shackle with him. Wait, wait, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Enchant the sword. Nice. And Eric getting another kill once again. Bloodhorn, okay, it's Bloodhorn before Bloodhorn. Or Bloodhorn after Green Alright, uh. So, Sleep, Kipley gives the adjacent allies plus one bonus. Once per combat, Kipley gains one extra point, and attack actions only cost one extra point this turn. Alright, we'll have him do Paladin as well, it's such a useful skill. Alright, dodge, that should be given to. I guess we'll give it to Kipley. That'll be this episode right here. Uh, let's reach the 30 minute mark, and I don't want to do anything longer than 30 minutes. So, this is the first episode of Wildermyth. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please do like. Uh, consider subscribing, it would help me start off on YouTube. Uh, goodbye.